It's time for some big brain plays. Yeah, you heard it. Some big brain plays. Some big brain planes. What? All right, it's time for some big brain plays. Why am I doing jazz fingers? Because I'm excited. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just get into the video. Hardest choices to test your brain. Oh, God, I don't know why I agreed to this. Who would you say first? Your dog, someone's kid, or $5,000? So you're telling me I've got a choice between saving my dog, Willie or Biscuit, some random ass kid or five grand. Listen, this is a tough one, but I've just got a little theory. Me and my big brain, we got big brain plays. I love how I'm talking up my brain and it's like, Tanner, you're gonna make yourself look like an idiot a minute in. Dogs can swim, kids cannot swim. $5,000, like it's just money, it's okay. It's like, yeah, I'll take the 5,000 bucks real quick. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, a dog can swim, so you would save the kid, right? See, even it said, it's like, I'll take the kid because obviously dogs can swim because every person ever would save the dog over the baby. Like, what is this? What is seven second riddles trying to say? Who would you save first? Mother, father, or a million dollars? Well, I mean, mum and dad, they've lived a good life. A million bucks would be nice. What do you mean? I cannot pick between my mum and my dad. I'm not doing it. It just tells you to write your answer in the comments. You're not even gonna like tell me that one of them makes it out alive and that it's all gonna be okay. What do you mean? Seven second riddles? No, this is not okay. Who is the kidnapper? A, B, or C? I think it's B because he's hiding his identity more than the other two. He doesn't want anyone to see that it's him. Am I correct? The answer is A. The man is grabbing the boy's hand. In B and C, the kids hold the adult's hand. How can you tell he's grabbing the hand? They all look like they're grabbing the hand. What do you mean? I feel like I'm being lied to. Am I being pranked? What's going on? Who is the kidnapper? We're back again, guys. Who is it? A, B, or C? Let's think about this. Let's use my brain. Let's use this big ass brain I got right here to figure out who it is. Okay, the last one was the grabbing. I don't know. I guess this one because he doesn't want to let the kid go. I want to say C, but I know that I'm probably wrong. I don't know. This silhouette looks kind of scared of this person. So maybe it's number A. Maybe it's number A. Yes, I know it's a letter, but it's number A, okay? I'm going to say C because I am smart. Ladies and gentlemen, my big brain just answered this one correctly. Answer C. You don't need to hold your kid's hand in the elevator. Exactly. Maybe your child's needy and wants to hold your hand. But no, this is the kidnapper. Who is the kidnapper this time, though? We've got A, B, or C. I don't know. They could all be the kidnappers. What, like, what do you mean? I don't, like, how am I meant to define who the kidnapper is? You're just going to leave me with a question mark? I need the answer. You can't do this to me. Who is it? I mean, let me know in the comments. Like, come on, dude. Don't just leave me with a question mark. I want to know the answer. Which door will you choose? You're locked in a room. That's scary. I don't want to be locked in a room. The salvation lies behind these closed doors. A serial killer who killed 300 people in 1890. That's scary. 1830 degree Fahrenheit flame. That's hot. That's very hot. Or liquid nitrogen that will freeze you. Which door will you choose? Okay, well, listen, if we're living in the year 2020, which we are, we all know that. The man's on the right, you know, the one who killed 300 people wouldn't be alive today, right? I feel like this has to be the answer. And if it's not, I'm giving up. I'm done. Please tell me I'm right. Please tell me I'm right. Please tell me I'm right. Hey, you see that? Sh I am smart. I am intelligent. I am wise. If the killer killed people in 1890, he died a long, long time ago. I'm a little bit proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. Can you make the hardest choice? Would you rather save your mother or your daughter? Um, well, I don't have a daughter, so I would have to say my mother. Also, the mother has a baby, and that's you. Because if you didn't save your mother, then you wouldn't be here. When are you saving this person? I would pick my mother because I don't have a daughter. Sorry, is what it is. If you chose mother, the most important thing for you is giving back. Well, damn, that is very important to me. I do love giving back, don't you? She says as she looks at herself. What superpower would you have? What's your element? Earth, air, metal, fire, or water? Fire, because I'm lit. <laughs> Only because I'm wearing a blue hoodie, I'm a say water. Zero. Okay, cool. Am I losing? What's going on? Pick a color. Blue, golden, black, red, or purple? Once again, I'm wearing blue, so I'm going to say blue. It's just like the vibe, you know? It's just the vibes. Two, so I got two. I got 
part two. I'm not okay. Your strongest sense is touch, smell, taste, sight, or hearing. I'm gonna say taste, because we all know Tana loves her food. Two. Two plus two is four. Wow, I can do maths. Choose a picture. Ooh, this one looking kind of cute though. Okay, one. The answer is one. So I got two, zero, two, two, one. We got five. God, I can't do this much maths, okay? Uh, a tiger. I feel like I'm doing a BuzzFeed quiz, but I know that this is seven second riddles. I am so confused. Okay, four. So we got two, two, one, four, zero. So we've got nine. Your biggest fear is disaster, exam, lie, ghosts, or death. Definitely death. I feel like I've spoken about this here on the channel. Why is this turning dark? I just came here to do some riddles. Okay, four. So we've got nine plus four, 13. Okay, give me the answer. Telepathy. <laughs> telepathy. <laughs> Telepath. Telepathy. Telepathy. <laughs> Why can't I speak the English language? Telepathy. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Tana? You're sociable, intelligent, powerful, and experienced. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I'm intelligent. God damn. Okay. What would you do to survive? Open the door or break the glass? I feel like open the door like would be the obvious one, but like, okay, it didn't even give me time to finish. I didn't have time to show my big brain plays because it just went too quick, okay? That's their fault. That's their fault, not my fault, okay? Uh, breaking the glass. Is there something about opening the door you can't with the pressure? I feel like that's something, right? It doesn't even give you an explanation. What do you mean, bro? So there are two people in front of you. Okay. They look pretty similar to me. Are they twins? Your friend and an imposter looking exactly like your friend. There is absolutely no way to determine who is who by asking questions. They know the same information about you. Damn. You have only one bullet. It's time to kill. But how do I know who is who? If you kill or injure the imposter, you and your friend will be saved. If you're wrong, he will kill you immediately. How will you know? What do you mean? I don't know. This is like... You, I can't ask them questions because they know the same thing. I can't tell how they look. Ask them to drop the weapon. The one who won't obey is the imposter. Dun, dun, dun. Or what if the imposter knew that you were going to ask that and then dropped the weapon and then they both dropped the weapon, then you don't know who it is. I honestly don't know what I would do in this situation. The hardest choices would you rather? A, always have to tell the truth or always lie. Oh, it would be tough telling the truth, but I'd have to. You're a selfless person. Well, if I uh, do say so myself. It's like, come on, dude. These are hard choices. What would you do? Never be able to speak again or have to say everything on your mind. Listen, I could never not talk. I would have to say everything on my mind. I practically do as it is. Let's be real. You have such a big heart. Thank you, seven second riddles. You are so sweet. Find true love or win a million dollars. Find true love. What is the point of having a million dollars if you've got no one to share it with? Would you rather never have sex or never eat? Eat your favorite food. I really enjoy food. Probably B. Just saying. Social life is everything to you. I just like food. Just saying. I like food. A photojournalist entered the dangerous caves to take some pictures. Suddenly, the cave started shaking. This is terrifying. The journalist had to run out, but he forgot which way he got there. There are four tunnels. In the first one, poisonous bats will kill you immediately. In the second one, heat from underground will burn anyone. In the third one, toxic gas will kill any kind of animal. In the fourth one, radioactive plants will kill you with one touch. Which way is safe? It says animal in this one, but I feel like humans are animals. Aren't we animals? We're animals, right? I don't know. Answer, the gas kills any kind of animal. But you're a human. Well, hey, at least I got it right. I got very confused along the way, but I got it right. A rich man suddenly died from a car on his finger. Dramatic. What happened? The next day, two men appeared and claimed to be his long lost son. Which one is it though? They both fit the description in the will and had all necessary documents. Well, the plot thickens. The family attorney proposed a blood test. That'll do it. One man agreed while the other point blank refused. The one who agreed though was arrested for fraud at once. The second man was accepted as the heir. I don't know why though. Yeah, I've got no, no fun clue. No clue. Give me the answer. Come on. Like, I'm just not smart. I just like, I'm not creative with my thoughts. I'm terrible at riddles. He was a hemophiliac like his father who died of a small cut. Oh my God, Tanner, the answer was right in front of you and you didn't even know it. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, Tanner? He was a hemophiliac like his father who died of a small cut. 
My parents, my poor parents paid for a very expensive education and I've just gone and done them like this. Your town blacked out after a massive earthquake. That's scary. I don't, I don't want to imagine that. Exploiting this mess, some criminals kidnapped you for ransom. <gasps> what? They keep you in a room. I don't want to be kept in a room. I'm kept in this room all day. In the first door, a death trap will crush you. In the second door, chainsaws will cut you into pieces. In the third door, a professional killer is waiting for you. And in the fourth door, the acid will burn you at once. Which door is safe? I feel like either the second door or the third door. I am getting a 50-50 chance. There's no electricity in the town, so there's no way that the chainsaw could have done it. I wish I'd just stuck with my gut and gone with the chainsaws, which is originally what I chose. Not for that reason. I was just like, yeah, you can fight somebody with some chainsaws, right? All right, so Mike was going to spend a great time at sea. Have fun, Mikey. And go to Mexico by bus. Unfortunately, he lost his ticket. Very sad. Where did it go, Mikey? And forgot which bus he was to go by. Which bus goes to Mexico? Um, okay. I feel like bus number eight because this one has a Canadian flag on it and then this one has snow gear which you won't find in Mexico so I'm gonna say number eight guys I don't want to say it despite the fact that most of this video is me failing but I just got one correct <laughs> how good is that how good is that okay what's wrong here what's wrong here uh ooh, uh I don't know oh there's a pigeon what's wrong here uh one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a four there. There's a four there. I repeat, there's a four there. There's an extra four there. You almost had me fooled. Hey, look at me. I am observive. All right, so Nina's family are held hostage at their house. Suddenly, the phone rings. Who has a phone like that anymore? That's the question I'm asking. The criminal allows Nina to take the phone. Well, that's very kind of said criminal. She goes, hi, mom. How can I help you? I'm home and about to go to bed. If it's not an emergency, can I call you later? I'm really sleepy. 30 minutes later, the police arrived and rescued them. How how did Nina ask for help? Me just genuinely confused. I'm like, I don't know. I just don't know, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not smart. I know as soon as they say the answer, I'm going to feel like an idiot because that's probably right in front of me. It's right in front of me, Tenna. She held the mute button saying everything except the words help, home, emergency, and call. How the bloody hell did she do that so swiftly without the robber knowing that she did it? Damn, that takes talent. I just used my big brain to succeed the riddles. I don't know if I'm walking away from this one smarter or dumber, but I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Yeet.